Hey guys, welcome to the latest video here on Z Code System on YouTube or on the blog, depending on where you're watching it from. It's a very relaxed day here at the office as we prepare for this afternoon's start to the Euro 2020 last 16. And today we're going to talk about and predict and preview some games that are coming up on Sunday, the 27th, as well as Monday, the 28th. Now, these are some big games as we have now entered the elimination part of the tournament, the knockout rounds, the last 16, with teams hoping to punch their tickets to the quarterfinals. And today, the games in just a few hours are going to get kicked off. We're going to see Denmark. And as you can see, I'm wearing my Denmark shirt today. They're going to be playing Wales, and then Italy are going to be playing also this afternoon. A very big day uh, for all of the teams playing, and our predictions and our picks today are going to be for those games starting tomorrow and going on into Monday. So we're going to have four big days of quarterfinal. Uh, excuse me, not quarterfinals, but last sixteen games as we prepare for the we prepare. Excuse me for the quarterfinals, and then on into the uh, into the uh, quarterfinals and the semifinals. So a lot of football going on. Okay, so the games are getting ready to kick off here in uh, here in Europe in just a little bit um, as I come to you in a couple of hours. And uh, yeah, going to be some great games going on. Uh, also, if you are interested in the MLB picks, be sure to check out the blog and the YouTube page here for those picks for the 27th. Cubs and Dodgers are going to be going at it. And if you scroll down, we've got some MMA going on tonight. UFC, uh, Gane versus Volkov in UFC Fight Night. Um be sure to check those out. I put my, I wrote, I wrote that blog and give you my picks for that fight, and uh, I'll be watching that, or at least taping that and watching it in the morning here in the UK as it will be uh, on very late once that main event goes on. But guys, let's take a look at those picks for the Euros on Sunday and Monday, the 27th to 28th, and we're going to be looking at the Soccer Buddy tool to get these picks over for you. Okay, so here is our Soccer Buddy tool, and if you are familiar with our videos for soccer, then you will know that we love using this tool and that uh, you know you, you should be familiar with us using that here on our videos and on the blog. So uh, we've going, we are going to set our dates and you know what, why don't we go ahead and look at the games for today. So a little bonus picks uh, for those games for today and I'm just going to set us up for the Euros. And there are Euros right there. And we're going to set some hot trends here, see if there's any hot trends. No hot trends looking like they're showing up. Uh, we've got that Denmark versus Wales game, and we've got the Austria versus Italy game. Now, as you can see, I am rooting for Denmark here in this game. Uh, as we all know, if you've been following the Euros, the uh, near tragic uh, incident that happened with Christian Eriksen of Denmark. Uh, and I think a lot of people, myself included, are um, backing Denmark as a uh, second favorite team here at the Euros this year, and um, they're going to be playing Wales. Uh, both teams go into this, they're kind of, I guess you could say, a bit of a Cinderella uh, going into this game. Uh, Wales are a, 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 a decent team. They're not the best uh, here at the Euros, uh, but they did finish second in their group, Group A, uh, behind the Italians. Denmark finishing second, and it took them up to the final day of the group stage to finish in second place behind Belgium. Um Going into this, I really like Denmark to win this game. I think this is going to be a very low-scoring game. I'm not sure if that's going to really be a 2-1 game. Uh, I could see this being a 1-0 or a 2-0 game. Uh, Denmark have some really good players, uh, better from front to back than Wales. Wales are really riding a high right now uh, from the group stage with their only blemish being a 1-0 loss to the Italians. Uh, they picked up a 1-1 draw with Switzerland and a 2-0 win over Turkey. Uh, I don't think that they're going to have an easy time with Denmark. Denmark are um, not only a, a good team, but they are going in with that um, momentum, I guess you could say, or that... that uh, will to win uh, after the the near tragic incident with Christian Eriksen. So I'm back in Denmark to win this game. Uh, Yusuf Poulsen has two goals in the tournament so far. Watch out for him to score in today's games. Now these again are bonus picks because these games are getting ready to kick off. And if you want to make a late bet, this is a little bit of information for you. Now looking over at Austria versus Italy, you can't go wrong with the Italians right now. I think it's 30 games the Italians have uh, gone unbeaten uh, in international play. They have won 11 straight games without conceding a goal. There's nothing more that's going to happen in this game than an Italian win, and it's going to be a win to nil. They're not going to concede a goal to the Austrians. Uh, this should be possibly a close game under 2.5 goals, uh, but the Italians to win 
to nil against Austria to move on to the quarterfinals. Now, those are today's games. Let's look at the games I wrote about on our recent blog, uh, which are going to be taking place tomorrow, Sunday the 27th. And we just got those up, and we'll just check the hot trends. No hot trends going on here. Uh, but we got our first game there that's going to be going on, and that's the Czech Republic. They're going to be playing the Netherlands. Uh, the Netherlands have been playing very, very well right now uh, in the Euros. Three straight wins uh, at the Euros. Uh, Jorginho Wijnaldum playing very well. Uh, he and Memphis Depay uh, just starring right now for the Dutch. I believe both have three goals for the Dutch so far after three games. Uh, I can't see anything else besides a Dutch win, a Netherlands win here. And I think this game might be a little bit less uh, less high scoring, if you will, uh, in this game. I think we're going to see under 2.5 goals with the Dutch keeping a clean sheet. Now, Czech Republic, they did well enough in the group stage. They picked up four points from nine possible. Their only blemish was a loss to England on the final day of the, of the group stage. But they did finish in third place in the group. And the... The damning thing, if you will, for the Czech Republic, they scored three goals with all three goals coming from the same man, Patrick Schick. This is a team that's not con- that's not necessarily not necessarily um, creating a lot of goal scoring chances for other players. So I think we're going to see a Dutch win, possibly a goal from Memphis Depay or Jorginho Gen- Wijnaldum, and they'll be moving on to the quarterfinals. Now this is a big game. The next one, so tomorrow uh, afternoon, East Coast U.S. time, and tomorrow night Europe time. Belgium playing Portugal. Now, this is a game that people would have loved to see in the final. This is two of the best teams. Belgium, the number one team in the world. Portugal, the reigning Euro 2016 winners. Very good uh, game coming up here. Um, I love Belgium in this. They topped Group uh, Group B, it was, uh, with nine points from nine, being Denmark, uh, being Russia, and beating the Finnish, uh, Finland. Uh, Portugal stumbled through their group after a 3-0 win over Hungary to start the group stage. They could only, uh, well, they lost 4-2 to Germany, and then they had to come from behind to draw with France to get through to the knockout stage. And, you know, they needed two penalties from Cristiano Ronaldo against the French to get through to the stage. I don't think that they're playing very well. At least they weren't in the group stage for those last two games. Super, and I've said this before, I've said this through uh, every one of our videos where we've talked about Portugal. They are super reliant on Ronaldo to do everything for them. And he scored five of their seven goals so far at the Euros. I love Belgium to win this game. I think Portugal will be sent packing. And I think this could be a high scoring game. I think that 2 1 score line could definitely uh, occur uh, with, with both these teams really going for goal. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Ronaldo get Portugal's goal in this game. Uh, even though I think that Portugal will fall, I think uh, everything is built around him. And if he's not going to score or he's not. Um, uh, a prominent figure in this game. I think that they could really struggle. Uh, so I'm going Belgium in this game to win, uh, and I like Ronaldo to score for Portugal uh, uh, it's at some point in this match. Now let's take a look at the 28th. We also profiled that on Zico's system in our latest blog, and we've got two more very good games here coming up. Spain taking on Croatia, who were the 2018 World Cup runners-up, and then we've got France taking on Switzerland, France, the World Cup winners at the 2018 tournament. Uh, that Spain-Croatia game, Spain really took a while to get out of first gear in the group stage. They drew their first two games, 0-0 with Sweden, 1-1 with Portland, uh, Portland, Portugal, sorry, Poland. Let me start that again. They drew 1-1 with, with Poland uh, before absolutely uh, thrashing their way to a 5-0 win on the last day of the group stage. And that got them into this uh, last 16. Croatia, they finished second in Group D behind England and ahead of the Czech Republic. Um, although Croatia do have some very good players in their team, uh, such as Luka Modric, uh, who is who's, uh, what, 36 now, 35, 36. Um, this is a team that could surprise you on their day, but I don't think that they're going to be off to the races in this one. I think Spain uh, will put the issues that they faced in those early stage games, uh, those first two games of the group stage, I think they're going to put those hope, those uh, issues behind them and go out and defeat Croatia on this day. 2-1, um, that's our predicted scoreline uh, with Spain coming from behind there. Uh, I don't think that's actually going to happen. I think Spain are going to control this game. They have dominated possession in all three of their games. Uh, choking teams 
uh, of the ball. And I think they're going to go ahead and, and dominate this game and pick up a win, potentially 2 0 to the Spanish. Uh, looking over at France, the tournament favorites, the pre tournament favorites, and currently the tournament favorites, they're taking on Switzerland. Switzerland struggled through the group stage, 1 1 draw with Wales before losing to Italy 3 0. And then they ended up. Uh, did win uh, they did win 3-1 against Turkey but um you know that was a very very bad Turkey team and at the moment uh they are basically being called the flops of the Euros uh Turkey that is so I think Switzerland are going to put up a, a minimal fight in this game I think France are going to run all over them much like Italy did uh in that game uh, that they played in the group stage uh France still still trying to get out of first gear I think uh you know, we saw kind of that at the 2018 World Cup during the group stage before France really turned it on in the uh, in the knockout rounds. Uh, France are coming out of the group of death uh, with Germany, Portugal, and Hungary. So by all means, that could be one of the reasons why they struggled uh, as much as they did. Uh, but I do like France to win this game. 2-1, yeah, okay, we can go with that scoreline, over 2.5 goals. And if we're picking a goal scorer in this game... I like Kareem Benzema. He's been good for France. He scored twice against Portugal in their last game. He's got two goals now in the tournament. So I'm going to go France to win. And if I'm picking a goal scorer, I'm picking Kareem Benzema to get a goal for the French. All right. Now, there are games going on on, on uh, the 29th. That's Tuesday. But you're going to have to go over to Z Code System to get those picks and predictions uh, for that game and use the VIP here with the Soccer Buddy tool. So you're going to have to go over to the blog or the VIP actually to get those picks. Now, guys, thank you for watching our video today. If you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button and stay up to date on everything we do here at Z Code System. We'll be coming back to you with more picks once we get to the quarterfinals and uh, bring you more. Also, remember to check out that UFC blog that I wrote earlier this week for the fights tonight on UFC Fight Night. And as well as we're going to be uh, covering next week the McGregor Poirier uh, event that's coming up for UFC uh, 264, I believe it is. Uh, but uh, stay tuned to all of those things here on Z Code System, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week here on Z Code System.